Elijah Adebayo finally declares that he wants to play for Nigerian Spy Goods, that he is ready if he's called upon, you know, to represent his fatherland. Of course, uh, this is a really, really big news for all of us. For me especially, because I've been following Elijah closely. And I remember one time uh, they played against um, Luton uh, Town, uh, played against uh, Brighton, and Elijah uh, got his first hat-trick. I talked about that uh, on this channel, and of course I was talking about how, uh, I was talking about the possibility of Elijah playing for Nigeria, you know, and adding to the, uh, the boatload of strikers that we have, uh, you know, for the Nigerian Super Eagles. And I remember someone was actually saying that, uh, you know, I, you can't, you can't, start counting him as a Nigerian until he, he begins to play, or until, you know, he pledges his allegiance and begins to show up for Nigerian Spagos. But it's finally happening now. He just revealed that, that um, you know, that's his mother's wish for him, that it would make his mo mother happy that he plays for Nigeria. And, you know, when a player comes out and says this out to the public, especially if it's a player that has, you know, the option of, Playing for England, uh, you know, it's just something very exciting, something to be happy about as an as an uh, you know Super Eagle fan, as a Nigerian, to be honest, because that goes to show that the coast is already clear. He is already, you know, making way for the NFF to contact him and you know start doing the paperwork as to how to transfer his allegiance from England to. Uh, Nigerian Super Eagles. Uh, this guy is a massive load of talent. You know, we've seen him play. Uh, for uh, for the benefit of uh, those who don't know about him, Elijah Adiba is actually uh, a British Nigerian from uh, that has Yoruba uh, descent. His mom and his dad are actually uh, from Yoruba, and of course, uh, he was born and bred uh, in, in in the UK, uh, somewhere in London, of course. And, uh, you know, he grew up playing football and, and all of that. But he signed his first professional contract around uh, 20, between 2016 uh, when uh, he signed for Fulham. And uh, from 2016 to like 2019, he was going on consistent loans for like five different clubs until, uh, you know, in 2023 where he, when he joined uh, uh, a Luton Town FC. And then uh, they were in the relegation zone at, the, at that point. But, you know, he was one of the key pillars that uh, fired Luton Town into the Premiership with his goals. And once Luton Town uh, got promoted to the Premiership, we have consistently been seeing the quality of Elijah week in, week out. It's either he's playing and he's scoring goals or he's playing his troubling defences, giving them a hell of a time, uh, you know, and creating spaces for his players to actually get, you know, get on it and score goals. In the Premiership this season, uh, he's actually uh, scored nine goals, uh, you know, out of uh, 23 uh, appearances, which is obviously mind-blowing for a player, you know, to actually score close to two-figure uh, two goals while playing for a lower club, Luton Town, not getting those experience uh uh, midfielders that can link him up with key, uh, key passes to score goals. It really uh, shows you that this guy is a hard worker. He has the spirit of, of a ninja. You know, he has ninja blood in him and his, he has a hustling spirit, just like Osime. And of course, is someone that we would be very happy to see in the uh, Nigerian uh, uh, national team. But of course, it's still a long way to go. But, you know, him coming out to say that he would want to play, he'd love to play for Nigeria, as it will make his mother proud. It's, uh, it's just uh, this is the first thing that we need to actually start, you know, chasing or start doing the paperwork from NFF. So I'm uh, moving on, uh, you know, beyond Adebayo's story. We have uh, we have Kenneth Omero and uh, just like the other uh, Super Eagles players who have returned to their club side, Kenneth Omero has also returned to his Kassin Passa uh, FC. Uh, a Turkish uh, base club and he actually even played their match yesterday and of course uh, he played the full 90 minutes which shows you how important it is to this Kasim Pasa uh, football club it just it's almost like they were waiting for him to just come back so that they would you know fix him into the starting 11 so but that was what actually happened but unfortunately for them they didn't win the match they drew the match 1-1 
uh, but of course, uh, you know, it's a massive point for them to carry, especially as they continue to chase uh, their European dreams. They are currently in uh, fifth position right now. And of course, uh, they are hoping to at least make, you know, the top four to qualify for Europe, not the Champions League, but of course, uh, somewhere around the Europa League or the Europa uh, Conference League. Uh, so uh, that aside, he also took a time to uh, actually flaunt his uh, medal medal cabinet or medal medal box you know to to show the, the the medals that he has been able to win throughout his you know long successful career of course uh you know it's uh, although we didn't win the you know the the, the afcon but they also got a medal for the second place which of course uh, it is one of the medals that he you know he has showed uh, on the social media. So let me also uh, tell you that more of our players have successfully, uh, you know, gone back to their club side. And um, right now, Yusuf uh, Al Hassan has, uh, you know, gone back to his club side and, uh, you know, started uh, training with the guys, of course. Uh, in this picture, yeah, you're seeing him with uh, one of our Nigerian Super Eagles talent, of course, who unfortunately was not included in the Afghan list, Eduke. A uh, very talented uh, um, midfielder, of course, but uh, he can't carry everybody, uh, you know, along. But uh, hopefully, in the future, if he if he performs well, he's definitely going to get a shot to be called. And of course, uh, Rukman also, uh, you know, has gone back to uh, his club side, Atlanta, and they're really proud of him. You know, uh, Lukman has really been doing something great with Atlanta before he left for Afcon, he in fact you know has scored a lot of goals i think about eight goals there about before he left for uh for Afcon, he actually scored the only goal that won them the match and then the next day he took a flight uh to represent nigeria and i'm really really sure that atlanta and you know their home management will be very happy to have lukman back into their fold aside from lukman of course can um keliche yanacho senior man has also uh, reported to uh to the Leicester City camp, and this is definitely uh, something that will be uh, a, a happy or joyous moment, of course, for the Leicester City team, because obviously we know his quality and and what you know he's been doing for Leicester City. He and Ndidi, to be honest, you know they were like the two double engines that were powering Leicester in their you know in their hope to promote to uh, the Premier League. They're actually topping their league at, at the moment. And then Southampton is uh, at the second position, but hopefully with our players there, they're definitely going to uh, qualify to the Premiership next season. We also have Henry Onika, who has now, you know, uh, rejoined with his, with his Brentford group. And obviously one of the first people that he he saw and, and they greeted uh, was the enemy or the, uh, the arrival, you know, in the AFCON, uh, Risa, you know, who represented a... Uh, uh, DR Congo. Unfortunately, the you know they got crashed uh, in the semi-finals and uh, played uh, uh, third place and lost to South Africa on penalty shootout. But of course, uh, you know it, it's nice to see these guys go back to their club side and of course uh, do great things as well. Uh, but that's the video, guys. Thank you for catching this one and uh, don't forget to like, uh, share, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. And I appreciate you guys for always uh, sticking sticking uh, to the channel, coming in to get the videos. God bless all of you and uh, take care of yourself.